What's up squad, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel where I give you daily Skyrim special edition tips. And in today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you how to obtain an extremely rare shell bug helmet, which has the best armor rating in the game of any other helmet. In fact, this piece of armor is so rare that most people don't even know it exists. And the kind of journey we've got to go on to get this is really fun as well. And just to be clear guys, you can do this if you have the Skyrim Special Edition game. Or if you've got the old Skyrim, you'll have to have the Dawnguard DLC installed. So this piece of armor is rather interesting as it actually has a base armor rating of 24. That's even better than a Daedric helmet which only has an armor rating of 23. The only other helmet in the game with a 24 armor rating is Kanarik's Dragon Priest mask, which I actually showed you how to get in last week's video. I'll link it below in the description if you did miss it. But as we know guys, Kanarik's Dragon Priest mask is much harder to obtain than the Shellbug helmet, which I'm about to show you. So I thought I'd make a guide on how you can get it so you can have the best armor until you get the other one. And then later on in the video, I'll be talking about what armor to actually wear with the Shellbug helmet to get the most armor rating out of it. Anyway, to actually get the Shellbug helmet, we must first mine the rarest material in the game, Shellbug Chitin. Now there are only actually two places that you can find this guys, it's so rare. So to find this material, we must come to the Forgotten Vale. This is a new area of the map that you come to during the Dawnguard questline. And if you haven't come here yet, just follow my guide in the description on how to start the Dawnguard questline. And then you'll be able to actually find and come to the Forgotten Vale, which is located here on the map. You can fast travel to the location. And once you are here guys, you'll find during the quest that there are lots of portals that you will use to transport you around the area. Each portal has a name and we need to go to the Way Shrine of Sight. And this is in the southeastern corner of the Forgotten Vale. So once you've reached this portal, you're going to want to come around the mountain like I am here. And at the end of this walk, we can find the Forgotten Vale Cave. And it's a pretty damn secret place. But just wait until you find out how hidden the Shellbug Chitin is. It's genuinely one of the most secret things in Skyrim. And if you're wondering guys, there's not actually a place you can find the Shellbug Helmet. Nor do any enemies actually drop it. You can only craft it. And this is one of the only places to obtain it. I personally really like it because it's very lore friendly and it's also so well hidden and easy to miss. So do take care because there's a Falmer outside of the cave and I'm just going to wreck him right now. But once you are here at the cave, just let me show you on the map again where it is because the Way Shrine of Sight is just here and then you come round the mountain to the Forgotten Vale Cave. It's one of those places that's quite hard to just come across as you're exploring. But now let's go inside. Do take care when you're inside because there are lots of Chorus Hunters. So I'm just going to go over and kill them all now but I do recommend that when you kill them you actually keep the Chorus Chitin that you find on their corpses because we're going to need that later to upgrade the armor I'm going to be talking about. And guys, if you haven't already, please do make sure you smash that subscribe button because I've got tons more daily Skyrim guides coming out that you will not want to miss. And guys, once you've killed these guys, you're going to want to come around out of this little area here and up this ramp. And at the top of this ramp, you'll see a pull cord. Uh, so just pull this and let me just show you because you can see there's a secret entrance opening over there in the distance. And that's where we're going to want to go next. Once again, guys, this is stupidly well hidden. And as you know, I love hidden secrets like this in Skyrim. So I am really enjoying showing you this one in particular. As you come down this path into this sort of opening in the cave, you'll find there are a few more Chorus eggs with hunters in that are going to like hatch out and attack you. Now these hunters can actually be quite troublesome as their attacks are poisonous as well as physical. Therefore, as you can see, it's ignoring most of my armor. It can sometimes actually be a good idea just to bring some potions of poison resistance if you are worried about dealing with them because that really does help. 
And guys, do not forget to loot the Taurus Chitin from these enemies. This Chitin, this type of Chitin is quite common, but you might as well just pick it up while you're here, unless you can't carry it. If you do have any trouble with these enemies, guys, it is quite easy just to run past them. If you want to do that, you just come up the side here towards this secret passage. And as you go through, you'll see this pull cord on the right and that will close the door behind you. So you can literally just run through and then close the door on the enemies behind you. And now we encounter the rarest insect in Skyrim. The shell bug. Just look at it. It's fucking huge. I remember the first time I ever saw it, and I was like, Jesus, how do you kill this monstrosity? But the goddamn thing is actually invincible. You can't kill it with normal weapons. In fact, it does kind of look cute in this really weird and creepy sort of way. But then you come closer to it to try to pet it, and you realize that you can actually mine it. So the rarest crafting material in Skyrim is in fact mined from an insect, a living insect. I know I didn't mention this earlier, but I thought it would be a cool little surprise for you all. And as I said earlier guys, this is just one of the shell bug locations, and it's the easiest one to get access to early on. So when you mine the shell bug, you'll get free shell bug chitin, and you'll need two to craft the helmet, and then the other one you're going to use to upgrade it, so that's three in total that we need. And when you're done mining, the bug will die. As you can see, it loses all of its shell and you've killed one of the only two shell bug creatures in existence. So now they'll never meet and never mate and have a relationship. You guys pretty much just doomed the entire species. How can you sleep at night? Anyway, once you've confirmed you're an absolute savage, you're going to want to come over and find a blacksmith's forge. Because we can now craft the super duper rare shell bug helmet. And you will of course need two shell bug chitin and also two iron ingots as well in order to craft it. That's some good armor. Then you can take it over to the workbench once you're done and upgrade it with the That's last shell. And if you use the potions of fortify smithing before you do this, you can obviously improve the armor rating even you further than you normally She's would be able to. And guys, I know a lot of you are probably wondering what armor I'm actually wearing with this. Well, let me explain this because there's actually a perk in the heavy armor skill tree called matching set bonus. And this gives you an armor rating boost if you wear, if you wear a matching armor set. So for the shell bug helmet, the matching set for this is the Falmer armor. And there are two types of Falmer armor in the game. Both of them will work with a matching set bonus. So firstly, you can get the Norma Falmer armor, which you can find at the very start of the game as soon as you start. In fact, I've already made a guide on how to get this and I'll leave a link in the description so you can go away and do it for yourself. But with this Shellbug helmet, this armor is actually better than full Dwarven armor. So it's pretty incredible to get early on in the game. That and you'll also look like a Falmer with the Shellbug trophy helmet. Pretty damn cool. In total though, this set gives you an armor rating of 107. And of course guys, you can improve the armor rating using the Taurus Chitin that we picked up earlier in the video, just at the workbench again. The armor also counts as heavy armor. And then later on guys, we can get the Falmer Heavy Armor, which is a very awesome looking set as well. It's in fact one of my favorite looking sets in Skyrim. And you guys can get this as you play the game by killing high level Falmer that starts to appear once your character's around level 30 in Skyrim. Now this armor has an armor rating of 131 and that's with the Shellbug helmet we just made. So that's even better than the Ebony armor and you can get the full set bonus as well with that perk. And once again guys, you can also upgrade your armor using the Taurus Chitin I showed you before. But don't forget guys, you can also smash that subscribe button for more daily Skyrim guides on the ESO channel. And also follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter so you never miss a video guide. Because I post them all the time on social media when I release a new one. But thanks again for watching guys, my name is ESO and I will see you, loyal subscriber, in the next Skyrim video guide. Have a fantastic fantastic day and goodbye. Don't forget that you can receive text and or email notifications from my channel every time I release a new video. Underneath the video just hit subscribe and then hit the bell next to it.
you will now get notified as soon as I release a new video. Welcome to the ESO squad guys.